I'm Michael Caimano. I'm a specialist with RM Sotheby's. I'm here with my colleague David Galprin from the Contemporary Art Department. Super excited to present the 1955 Mercedes-Benz Gullwing, also known as the Warhol Gullwing, probably considered by most to be the most famous and sought after uh, Mercedes-Benz Gullwing out there. Thanks, Michael. I'm, uh, I'm pleased to be here because I don't often get invited to talk about cars. Sure. Tell me what is it about this car that makes it so special? It's a 55 Mercedes-Benz Gullwing with Rudge wheels, so that is the most desirable configuration of the car. This has its original engine. The car has been certified by Mercedes-Benz to have its original components. Known ownership history from, from new, no, no blemishes in its history. You know, so, so, so as a car in itself, um, it, it ticks all the boxes for a collector. Numbers matching, great history. It's an iconic livery. Um, you know, silver was Mercedes-Benz racing car. So the car received a tremendous multi-year, roughly 5,000 hour restoration by Brabus. Wow. Yeah, the, the condition and, and quality of the restoration is is top notch, one of, one of the best that, that we've seen. So so as, as a car in itself, if you wanted a going, this would, this would be the one to have. And then when you consider that this was the actual car that Warhol used to create the, the series, the world's most famous going, you could call it. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity to, to acquire something like this. So tell me, you talk about provenance. Did Warhol actually own this car? So he didn't own the car. It, this was the subject and the exact car that he used to create the painting, uh, which led to the iconic series. So why do you think uh, Warhol chose the Gullwing as, as the subject of the series? Well, Warhol was always fascinated by images and icons and objects that were mass produced that mm -hmm. seemed to be ubiquitous in culture, whether that was the image of Marilyn Monroe's face or a cannibal soup can. Mm -hmm. Um, but I think what's interesting about the Gullwing in particular and his selection of it is that, you know, there was this, always this sense of spectacle beyond the ordinary, mm -hmm. you know, and cars at this point in American history were becoming ever more ordinary and present. The idea of having a car in every American home was typified really the American dream, but the Gullwing in its masterful design really takes that one step further and, and, and represents the spectacle of of what is, you know, or what was becoming to be considered very ordinary. Sure. Rarely do we get to have these kinds of conversations between art and cars, because there's not, there's not often such an object that is able to kind of bridge the boundaries between these two categories like this one is. I think it's also, you know, the Mercedes going in itself is such an iconic design mm -hmm. um, that it, it easily kind of can straddle the line of, of the art world and the automotive world, if, just as from a design perspective. So. Uh, makes makes a lot of sense that he would choose a car like this for the series. Is this an an iconic vehicle in the realm of, of car history? Yeah. So uh, every great collection um, has a has, if it doesn't, it should have a Gullwing in it. It's a quintessential collector car, both from a design standpoint, but also from usability. So in period, the cars were tremendously successful race cars, driven by you know the best of the best, and uh, that also. Um, kind of lends itself today to a great usable, reliable car. Um, you know, some things can be very finicky and, and difficult to use. This is fairly straightforward, uh, which is incredible considering its capabilities. Well, I would agree also that every great collection has to have a Warhol, so. Yeah, perfect. <laughs> The, the car's being sold via Sotheby's Sealed. Um, the auction ends on the 17th, and the car is actually being sold without a reserve, which is, you know, adds to the excitement as well. I think Andy would have loved that. <laughs>